The Allure of the Forbidden Understanding a Forbidden Fruit Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase in the English language, a forbidden fruit. This phrase has a rich history and a powerful meaning that resonates in many contexts. Let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. The phrase, a forbidden fruit, originates from a religious context, specifically the Bible. It refers to the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden. According to the story, Adam and Eve were commanded not to eat this fruit, but they were tempted and did so, leading to severe consequences. Over time, the term has come to symbolize something that is desirable but off-limits or dangerous. In modern times, a forbidden fruit is used to describe anything that is tempting but potentially harmful or unethical. It could be a thing, an action, or even a relationship. For example, if someone is attracted to a person who is in a committed relationship, that person could be considered a forbidden fruit. The phrase highlights the human tendency to be drawn towards things that we can't or shouldn't have. This phrase has been used in various forms of literature and pop culture, adding depth and intrigue to stories and characters. For instance, in movies or books, a character pursuing a forbidden fruit often faces dilemmas and moral conflicts. These narratives help us understand the complexities of human desires and the consequences of pursuing them. When using a forbidden fruit in conversation or writing, it's important to understand its connotations. It's best used in contexts where there's a clear element of desire and restriction. For example, saying, the stolen jewels were a forbidden fruit he couldn't resist, illustrates both the allure and the moral boundary crossed by the character. A forbidden fruit is a phrase that beautifully encapsulates the human experience of temptation and the allure of the unattainable. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase effectively in your English conversations. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and ideas they convey. Keep exploring, and see you in the next video.